season for Tampa Bay and in the Canton net off to our right Bill Namofsky three and two on the year with a 3.84 goals against average starting lineup for Tampa Bay the front line Mike Ball and Magic Celestin Duncan McEwen at midfield and the defenders are the two slow people Trevor was talking about in the pregame show Arsena Goost and Dave Power the invaders will start Steve Maurer and Art Kramer up front with Don Tobin at midfield Oscar Pisano who didn't play Wednesday night is on the field starting on defense along with Tom Condridge Tampa Bay launches the kickoff down in the Canton defensive end, and Pisano clears it in the goal area. Bill Namofsky holds on. Invaders attack from our right to our left here in the first quarter. Quick line change as Magic Celestin and Randy Pikasinski and Rudy Pikasinski come out, and it's Rudy Pikasinski working against a goose in the corner. Wall pass for Randy. Randy coming back outside. He wants Schlotthauer. He fires. It's in the cheap seats. Little bit high over the glass. Goal kick for Tampa Bay. We've played 27 seconds at the Civic Center, and Arnie Mauser will put it in play for the Tampa Bay Rowdies. Goal kick, Tampa Bay. It's Randy and Rudy at the forwards. Magic at midfield, and the defenders are Mike Paxos and Walt Schlotthauer. In the goal area, ball on the floor is Arnie Mauser. Now he comes out through the arc, and Mauser up near the red line, crosses the red line, sends it long for Mike Fall in the left corner against Paxos, Fall back to the net, and he dumps it back out to midfield to Auguste. Arsene Auguste looks it long in the left corner, headed away by Magic, and here comes Rudy up the floor. 
It's two on three. Rudy, now Mike Paxos clears behind, and Rudy will back it up as Mike Fall had good defensive position. Off the right side boards for Paxos. Paxos trying to get inside. Fall finds Randy in the corner. Wall pass Rudy. He shoots in. A good play by Mauser to knock that one free. Rudy couldn't get the rebound. Magic dumps it in the right corner for Randy Pikasinski. And it's off the top of the glass. Randy controls on the right point to Mike Paxos. And Paxi will back it up in the midfield circle to Walt Schlothauer. Schlothauer, a couple of steps forward. Right side feed at the red line to Celestin. Centering ball for Rudy. Rudy wanted the heel pass, didn't get it. Now Magic. And his ball for Randy was knocked away by Mike Ball, but Randy stole it back. Once Rudy in the corner. And Rudy and Power collide. And it's loose, and Solomon Hilton comes up with it. Hilton up the left side. He's tripped by Rudy. And that'll be the first foul of the period. It goes against the Invaders with 13.26 to remain in period number one. You're with 94 FM, WHBC FM, Canton, Ohio. We have two contest quarters tonight, by the way. They will be the third and fourth quarters. So if you sent your postcards in, keep listening. McEwen, wall pass, off the right side. He wanted Peter Rowe. And now it's... Uh, Steve Walters, or Tim Walters, Walters up the right side, wall pass loose out front, it comes in behind the intended uh, recipient there, Nick Mangione, long lead ball by Tobin, wants Kramer, Kramer taken down out front, and Mike Paxos after the loose rebound, Walters spin move to get around Mike, and it's cleared up to David Dodge, Dodge dishes it back to Rowe, Kramer with high pressure on him, the Invaders almost an exact opposite tempo of the game Wednesday night, they're coming out and putting the heat on, they feel they're a little bit healthier, and they want this team to have to run. Rowe, long lead for Walters in the Invader defensive end. Back to the net left side against Condridge. And back out of the point on the left side, it comes to Dodge. Dodge, midfield, edge of the circle on the left side to Rowe. His pass headed away by Don Tobin. And Dodge will chase it back into the Tampa Bay defensive zone. 12.27 to play first period. No score here at the Civic Center. Here comes Arnie Mauser out across the red line. Sends it ahead in the corner. He wants Mangione, but Pisano has position, and Mangione will get whistled for the push. That is the first team foul on Tampa Bay. The team fouls are even at one apiece. Don Tobin, right side at midfield, leaves it there for Art Kramer. Toby clears to his right. Paxos ahead to the left. Right side feet in the corner to Tobin, and Tobin will back it out. Red line, Pisano. He winds, he fires, and Mauser pounces on the ball just before Art Kramer was coming up against the left post. Peter Rowe sends it forward for Tampa Bay. Rowdy's won a line change. Here's McEwen up the right side. Shot rejected by Condrich, and it bounces over the glass and out of play. Tampa Bay will kick it in. Touchline right side in the Invader defensive zone. We have 11.51 to play in the first period and no score. Invaders attacking the defenders, something you heard Trevor Dawkins say he wanted to do in the pregame show. They want to put more pressure on the ball than they did Wednesday night. They feel they're healthier. They feel they can up-tempo it. And that they have the capability of doing that tonight, whereas stamina would have been a problem before. Centering ball knocked away, and McEwen put it up into the stage. That'll be a goal kick for the Invaders. Bill Namoski to handle that chore for the Invaders. Billy, three and two. Namoski rolls it out left side to Schlothauer, and Walter will come forward with it. He's met by Solomon Hilton at the Canton Red Line. Schlothauer sends it long left side. It's headed back by McEwen. And Walter gets it back at midfield. Right side to Mike Paxos working against Paul. And now back at the Canton red line to Schlothauer. Schlothauer ahead at the uh, Tampa Bay red line to Randy Pikasinski. Ball knocked away by Power. But Schlothauer controls midfield circle to Celeste. And ahead to Randy. Randy and McEwen in a race. They both go down and the foul goes against Randy Pikasinski. Second foul on the Invaders. Solomon Hilton long lead for Mike Paul clearing up the left side. He battles with Mike Paxos in the corner. Now Randy over for the double team, and they dump it to Auguste at midfield. Marcina Goose left side at the red line, back to Power on the right point. Power backs up to the referee's crease, knocked up in the air by Paxos, and it bounces off the glass. Paxi controls, blocked by Power, and loose out front, and Mike clears it off the boards. But McEwen got there first, wall pass fall. It's up in the air and headed away by Rudy. Now McEwen tries to clear, but it lands at the feet of Randy Pikasinski. Randy out of the Canton defensive end, right side midfield for the Magic Man. Celestin in the Tampa Bay zone. He clears it ahead to Randy. Randy wants the feed out front, finds Magic. Magic corner of the box, wanted Rudy. Ball knocked away by McEwen. And Tampa Bay with the outlet on the right side to fall and back to McEwen in the corner in his own defensive zone. 10.26 to play, first period, no score at the Civic Center. 
Arsene Auguste with the ball in the Tampa Bay defensive zone. Lead ahead, it is uh, Walters. Left side at midfield, move around one, move around two, and he fires, and Namoski comes up with the ball. The rebound popped away, but Paxos was able to kick it back into Billy, and he rolls the outlet to the Canton Red Line on the left side of the floor to Art Kramer. Hardy off the sideboards in the Tampa Bay end for Mike Paxos, back to the net against Dodge. Paxi double teamed by Dodge and Rowe, finds Kramer out on the point, and Artie has to back it up right side at midfield to Oscar Pisano. Pisano on the move. He wants Artie shot in a point blank save by Arnie Mauser. Knocked it right into his chest. Outlet comes on the left side to Peter Rowe. Rowe Paxis with him step for step. Rowe backs it up at midfield. And on the right side it comes to Sachs. And now it is uh, Oscar Pisano ahead to Art Kramer. Kramer wants Maurer out front. Artie shot blocked by Rowe. Kondrich has it back over to Tobin. Oscar Wines fires the left side rebound. Comes out to the foot of Tim Walters. Walters working on Kondrich. Backs it up to Sachs. Nathan Sachs and now Rowe across the goal area. It comes to Dodge. He's picked up by Randy Pikasinski. And now the goalkeeper Mauser has it on the floor in the goal area. He'll come out under pressure from Steve Maurer. To Rowe. Back to uh, Mauser. Lead ball. Mangione dumps it back in his own end. Dodge clears. Nobody home at the other end for Tampa Bay. And Namoski pushes it ahead to Oscar Pisano. Now on the left side to Kondrich. Still in the Canton defensive zone, but Tampa Bay in low pressure. They'll pick him up at midfield. Right side at midfield is Pisano. Oscar launches it long. He's got Rudy in the corner. Wall pass for Magic. Magic couldn't quite get there in time, and Mauser controls for Tampa Bay. 8.37 in the first period. Peter Rowe in his own end. Ahead it comes to McEwen. McEwen, move around one, lost the ball. Taken back by a goose for Tampa Bay at midfield. Rudy on him. A goose moves through the midfield circle, sends it over the head of Hilton, and Condridge able to touch it in the goal area, but Namoski could not control. And Tomo chases it all the way across the field and shovels it ahead to Magic Celestin. 8-14 to play first period. Nothing, nothing between the Invaders and the Tampa Bay Rowdies. Mike Paxos on defense with Walt Schlothauer. Schlothauer left side in the Canton defensive end. Defense by McEwen there as they come up to the red line. Now back to Namoski and the Tampa Bay defenders back up. Billy comes out across the red line. Still no pressure on Namoski as he approaches midfield. Billy sends it long. It's headed out by Power and McEwen dishes back to Mike Fall. Fall, the former Louisville Thunder player, ahead to McEwen, lost the ball in front of him and Namoski controls in the corner. Left side in the Canton defensive end. Coming up the floor with it is Walt Schlothauer. Schlothauer, right side invader red line to Mike Paxos. Paxos ahead for Rudy Pikasinski. Pikasinski and power, fight forward in the corner. Right side, Rudy back to the net to Magic. Now Paxos, wall pass, loose out front. Mauser grabs it and holds on. Mauser outlet short on the right side to Duncan McEwen. And McEwen across to his red line, midfield circle to fall. And back to power on the right side. He shoots Namoski with a save. It popped loose and Mike Paxos clears it back to the Canton keeper, Bill Namoski. Celestin through the midfield circle, clears to the left side around power, and he's got it in the corner. Magic wall pass loose, and it was just knocked away by Sachs, or Pikasinski would have eaten Mauser alive. And it's cleared up over the glass and out of play. That'll be a goal kick. And we have a timeout on the field. While we have that, we'll take a 30-second break. Canton nothing, Tampa Bay nothing. Here's game is at home next Friday night against Fort Wayne. 8.05 kickoff, 7.55 airtime, back here on FM 94. It's click night. First 4,000 people through the door get those little Acme click clickers. And also, any click store, you can get coupons now good for two $6 tickets for the price of one. Pick them up as soon as you can. Row shovels it ahead for Dodge. It's too far for him. Steve Maurer had position and got tripped. And that's the second foul on the Tampa Bay Rowdies. The team fouls are even at two apiece. Tobin clears up the right side. Ahead to Maurer. Maurer wants Tobin in the corner. It goes off the boards, and Maurer comes inside Dodge. Maurer double teamed against the boards. Cleared out, but Pisano will keep it in on the point. Oscar will now back up to midfield under pressure from Walters. And Oscar dumps it in the left corner for Art Kramer. Kramer back to the net, trying to get inside row. Does. Wall pass deflected by Dodge. Cleared out front. Kondrich on the run. Sends it up into the cheap seats. And it'll be a goal kick for Tampa Bay. 6.21 to go in the first period. <laughs> Rowdies and the Invaders are scoreless. Invaders recovering from the flu bug. And you might notice that I've traveled with him for two days. <coughs> Here comes Arnie Mauser. 
Outside the box, on the arc, Kramer with pressure. Right side feed comes to Rowe. Rowe to midfield. Sends it long in the corner for Mangione, and Namaski knocks it up and out of play. Tampa Bay will kick it in, touchline right side in the Canton defensive end around the just outside the curve of the boards. 6-10 in the period. We have no score. It was a low-scoring game the early part until we got in the fourth quarter Wednesday night. Rowe launches it in wide. Nobody home for the rebound. Condrich has it for Canton. Ahead to Maurer. It's a little far for him. Maurer tried to get inside Dodge, but Dodge came away with the ball up against the sideboards. Dodge picked up by Condrich. Dumps it in the corner for Rowe. Tobin got there first and clears it out to Art Kramer. Kramer spins away from two Tampa Bay players and leaves it in the box for Pisano. And now Tobin out across the red line. Toby, midfield, wants Maurer in the right corner. He couldn't get the shot away. And Power able to clear it back to Mauser. Maurer had to spin to take a swipe at that ball, and he only nicked it. McEwen in the Tampa Bay defensive end drops it back to Power. These are the guys they want to pick on, Power and Auguste, if they can. Ball heads it to Auguste at midfield, over to McEwen on the left side. It hits his head and goes out of the arena into section 14. The Invaders will kick it in right in front of their bench on the right side at midfield. Axos and Schlothauer on defense. Celestin and Rudy and Randy Pikasinski. The front line, Magic the midfielder, and the two Pikasinski brothers are your forwards. Axie through the midfield circle to Randy. Right side feed to Magic. Wants Rudy. Rudy trying to turn. Randy on the give and go. Loose out front. Mauser comes up with a loose soccer ball. Outlet to Fall. Fall dishes back to McEwen in the Tampa Bay defensive zone. McEwen right side of the floor. Picked up by Rudy Pikasinski. Ahead to Solomon Hilton. Trying to get it ahead to Fall. Fall wanted Hilton on the give and go, but Schlothauer intercepts. Schlothauer being hounded by Mike Fall. Dumps it back in the goal area for Namoski. Billy Outlet. Red line on the right side to uh, Magic Celestin. Celestin working against McEwen. Picked up by Hilton. Ahead to Randy. Randy on the left side of the box. Move around one. A goose tapped the ball away. Hilton clears. Schlothauer takes it back for Kent. Schlothauer fires. It's blocked by Power. And Celestin off to the loose ball. He shoots wide, just wide to the left side. And Mike Fall controls the rebound at the Tampa Bay red line. Mike Fall, right side of the field. Ahead to Power. Power had the ball blocked by Celestin. But Power gets it back. Now he's undercut from behind by Schlothauer. They clear it out front. And Nathan Sachs has it at the midfield line on the left side. He fires off the glass. No, Namoski having trouble controlling the rebounds tonight, but Billy able to punch it ahead to Mike Paxos. Cleared to midfield. A goose flags it down there for Tampa Bay. 4.08 to play in the first period and no score. Dave Power steps into the bench and leaves the ball for Peter Rowe. Rowe forward across the Canton red line. He fires and it's blocked out of play by Randy Pikasinski. Tampa Bay will put it in play right side in the Canton defensive end. Two team fouls on each team. So a 357 left in the period. Nobody in major danger of the six foul violation just yet. Rowe will put it in play for Tampa Bay. He fires wall pass. It's put up in the air and score. It went right through the hands of Nemovsky. And Sachs, I believe, will get the goal. Is that Sachs or Mangione? It's Sachs. And Tampa Bay leads one to nothing. Sachs will get the goal. Rowe will get the assist. Time of the goal is 11.06 of the first period. And Tampa Bay leads one nothing. Sachs, it's his first game as a rowdy, so it's his first goal of the year. Rowe picks up his third assist of the season. And Tampa Bay leads one to nothing. Rowe was the villain the other night. And the Invaders try to come back. Magic Celeste at edge of the midfield circle. Forward on Mangione. Feeds on the right side to Mike Paxos. Paxos on the point at the red line. And he'll back it up at the back end of the midfield circle to Walt Schlothauer. Schlothauer looking ahead for Rudy. It's over his head into the corner. Rudy and row fight for it. Loose out front. And Rudy tried to get a foot on it, but uh, it was in the grasp of Arnie Mauser. Mauser will throw it long midfield, left side. And Mangione got inside Schlothauer. Moving inside, he feeds out front, passes behind Walters. Dodge with a shot, no. And coming up with it is, uh, well, we had a hand handball on the call anyway. Hit somebody in the arm, might have been Randy. Third foul on the Invaders, 321 to play in the first quarter. Tampa Bay one, Canton nothing. Rowe to put it in play from about seven, eight feet outside the right corner of the box. 
Walters clears out front, shot off the glass wide. Mangione and Celestin in a race for the rebound. Magic comes away with it. Celestin across the red line, left of the midfield circle. Magic to the Tampa Bay red line, picked up by Dodge as he steps inside the line and back middle of the floor to Schlotthauer. Walter forward for Rudy Pekosinski. Rudy to Magic, ball knocked away by Dodge. Schlotthauer gets it back at midfield. 2.59 in the quarter. Randy Pekosinski, left point, ball blocked by Peter Rowe. And Rowe controls for Tampa Bay, ahead to Walter. Sliding play by Magic to knock it away. Randy with a spin move to control at midfield. And Magic drops it back at the Canton red line to Schlotthauer. Ahead to Randy Pekosinski. Pekosinski back to Walter. 2.41 to play in the quarter. Walter right side to Mike Paxos. Paxos, a couple of steps forward on, Ma on uh, Mangione and drops it back to Schlotthauer. And he'll clear to Namofsky. And quickly the outlet back to Walter. Walter up the left side of the floor, across midfield, once Steve Maurer out front. Rowe knocked it away and had a handful of Maurer's jersey at the same time, but there was no call. Now Pisano midfield, left side feed to Tobin. Tobin down in the corner, left side for Steve Maurer. Maurer back to the net on Rowe to Don Tobin. Tobin fires off the wall, nobody home for the rebound, and Walters has it for Tampa Bay. Walters being hounded by Maurer. They clear up the left side. Now Walters picked up by Pisano as he takes it in the Canton end, and he fires. Namoski grabs that one and holds on. Long outlet for Art Kramer. Kramer off his chest at midfield, taps it back to Don Tobin. 154 in the period. Tobin to Maurer. Toby give and go. He fires just wide rebound. Maurer scores. <laughs> Steve Maurer will get the goal. Don Tobin will get the assist. We're tied at 1-1. Time of the goal, 13-11 of the period. For Maurer, it's his sixth goal on the year. And for Don Tobin, it's his league-leading 10th assist. And the Invaders tie the game up at 1-1. Maurer from Tobin. Time of the goal, 13-11. We have 1.49 to play in the first period. That one was pretty. On the floor for Canton, Maurer, Kramer, Tobin, Condridge, and Pisano. It's McEwen, Hilton, Fall, Auguste, and Power for Tampa Bay. Kickoff down in the Invader end. Condridge has it there. Wants to clear, but he's double teamed. Able to get it ahead to Pisano. Pisano inside McEwen finds Tobin open on the right side of the floor. Tobin picked up by Hilton. Donnie across the red line. Now midfield on the right side to Kramer. Hardy passes through the center circle to Tom Condridge. Condridge with a move around fall. He fires off the foot of Maurer. And that one landed in the Tampa Bay bench. And the Rowdies will control right side at midfield with 118 to play in the first period. Maurer has scored for Canton. Sachs has scored for Tampa Bay. And let's see. We have some controversy apparently over who should get the ball. Oh, the one clock is wrong at the far end. Now, which one is official? <laughs> well, I'm going to call 118 in the period. The one at the end says 45 seconds. So they're saying that one is no good, is my understanding. So we'll call it a minute 18 left in the period. At least that's what I can gauge as far as I can tell from up here. Yeah, OK, the official clocks are the ones in front of us. 118 left in the first period, tied at 1-1. Power wants Hilton in the corner. Pisano has position. Hilton able to head it in. Tobin knocks it out. It goes over the glass and out of play. Tampa Bay will kick it in from the left corner. Mike Fall will be the trigger man for the Tampa Bay Rowdies. He played the last two years with the Louisville Thunder. Fall is from Tampa and able to get out and get back. There's a shot by McEwen. It's blocked by Kramer. Hilton after the rebound. Condridge deflects it ahead to Kramer. Kramer up the left side, taken down. I think he just lost his balance. Already got it back again. At that, that time, he got hammered by McEwen. And the foul will go against Tampa Bay, their third. Tobin wants to put it in play, but hold the phone. Solomon Hilton hadn't gotten up off the floor yet. Now Hilton's standing, but appears to be hobbled a little bit. Solomon has that left leg rather heavily taped up already. But he will stay, in, or will he stay in the game? No, he'll come out. Walters will come in for the Rowdies. Don Tobin will put it in play from just on the Canton side of the midfield stripe. Minute two to play in the first quarter. Invaders one, Rowdies one. And here is Tobin, back side of the midfield circle to Condridge. 
and his pass is intercepted by Mike Falk. Ball pushes ahead. It's too far for McEwen, and Pisano will win the race into the corner and shovel it in the goal area for Namofsky. Outlet short on the left side to Don Tobin, 49 seconds in the period. Steve Maurer working on Auguste. Maurer turns, spins, trying to get a foot on the ball. Auguste deflected it out to Walters, and Walters clears the red line for Tampa Bay. Ball knocked away by Kramer, but right back to Auguste. And now it's McEwen, right side at midfield. Long lead for Walters, knocked away by Pisano. And they clear it ahead to Don Tobin. 29 seconds in the period. Tobin drops it back to Pisano. Now on the left side at the Canton red line to Condrich. Tomo up close to midfield. Back to Steve Maurer. 17 seconds in the quarter. Pisano dishes to Magic. 12 seconds. And the ball for Kramer knocked away by Power. Eight seconds in the period. Namofsky outlet to Mike Paxos. Four seconds. And they'll just run the period out. Two, one, and that's the end of the first quarter. With a score, the Canton Invaders won and the Tampa Bay Rowdies won. We're back in a minute. much rather be down there on the field. He wanted to play and they wouldn't let him. Hey, Timmy, get better in a hurry, will you? To start the second period for Canton, Randy and Rudy Pikasinski with Magic Celestin, and then the defenders are Mike Paxos and Walt Schlothauer with Namofsky in the goal to our left. Hilton, Fall, McEwen, Auguste, and Power for Tampa Bay. Auguste and Power are the two defenders that Trevor feels they can exploit because of their lack of foot speed. And they have some speedy people in there with Magic and Randy and Rudy. Mike Paxos with the ball right side at midfield. Dumps it on the left side to Schlothauer and back in front of the goal arc to Namoski. Billy will come out across the red line and set it up. It's forward for Rand Rudy. Rudy took a swipe at the ball and Mauser landed on it at the same time. Mauser controls. Long outlet for Fall, but it's too far for him, and Mike Paxos controls in the Canton defensive end. Paxos comes out of the box, across the Invader red line, midfield circle, moves to the right around Fall, ahead for Randy off the boards. Randy trying to get inside Auguste. Auguste knocked the ball free, but Auguste gets whistled for the trip, and the Invaders will put it in play from the right corner. First foul on either team in the second period. Magic Celestin will be the trigger man from the right side for the Invaders. Set play time. Tampa Bay burned them with a couple of these Wednesday night. The invaders have a history of being good at this. Magic clears it out front. Slothauer with a shot. It just hit Rowe in the foot. Pikasinski got undressed in front of the net, and there was no call. Solomon Hilton just decked him. And Hilton and Paxos fight for it. And Paxos gets whistled for holding. The team fouls are even at one apiece. All right. I mean Solomon Hilton just flattened Rudy Pikasinski in front of that net. Clears through the box. Namoski has trouble with the rebound and gets fouled by Fall in the process. Second foul on Tampa Bay. And the Invaders will put it in play from their own end. So the whistle's blowing a little quicker in the first minute or so of this period. Here's Mike Paxos up the right side of the floor. Paxos through the midfield circle to Celestin, who clears behind McEwen. Magic turns in the corner. Wall pass for Rudy, headed away by Power. And Fall had it stripped away by Schlothauer, but Walter gets whistled for the trip. Team fouls even at two apiece. McEwen from the Tampa Bay red line, touch line right. And he sends it down the right side of the floor. Hilton and Paxos in a race for it there. Hilton in the corner. Nobody free out front for the feed. Paxi chases him outside, and they clear it to Arsene Auguste at midfield. Auguste, a couple of steps forward, dumps it in the right side. McEwen back to the net against Schlothauer. McEwen trying to get inside on the boards. Wall pass is picked off by Namoski. And Billy outlet short on the right side to Mike Paxos. Forward it comes to Walt Schlothauer. 13-12 to play in the first half. 
We're tied at 1-1. Lead ball on the right side for Rudy. Rudy puts it up in the air, heads it over for Randy, but Dodge had position, and Walters comes away with the ball for Tampa Bay. Walters and Randy fight. Randy gets whistled for the trip. Walters took a dive and got the call. 13-01 in the period. Three fouls on the Invaders, two on Tampa Bay. Rowe up the left side of the floor, across midfield, across the Invader red line. He winds, he fires, it's over the glass and out of play. It was deflected, I believe, by Tobin. Tampa Bay will have a corner kick from the left side. Pisano and Condrich on defense. Kramer, Maurer, and Tobin up front for Canton. It's Rowe and Dodge on defense for Tampa Bay with Sachs, Walters, and Mangione. Out front, Rowe shoots. It's blocked out front by Paxos, and Paxos clears it out on the right side to Don Tobin. Tobin lets Walters clear by, and now Toby moves right to left, crosses with Kramer. Toby keeps the ball out across the red line, right side at midfield to Artie. Kramer back to Don Tobin at the red line, and now it's Oscar Pisano. Pisano forward for Steve Maurer. Maurer back to the net on Dodge, and Maurer had it knocked away, and it's cleared out front, and Rowe dumps it in the goal area for Mauser. And now Mangione, or rather that's Sachs, long lead for Namofsky, and Namofsky tosses it right back the other way to Maurer. Maurer ridden away from the ball by Rowe, and Mauser tosses the outlet to Sachs. Sachs on the run in the corner, left side in the Canton defensive end is Walters. Ball poked away by Condrich. Sachs controls for Tampa Bay to Walters in the corner, back to Sachs. Sachs working in close to the box. Now Walters, now Sachs, give and go. Ball knocked away and a good play by Tobin. Wall pass, no. Condrich dumped it around the man. Kramer clears ahead for Don Tobin, and the invaders attack the other way. Tobin's got Kramer clearing to his left, Condrich to his right as he crosses the red line. Artie cuts across. Tobin on the give and go pass was behind him. And we've got a pushing foul against Don Tobin as he plowed into uh, Mangione. Mangione kind of set a blind pick. Tobin didn't see him and just plowed right over him. Four fouls on the Invaders, two on Tampa Bay, and the Invaders have a lot of time. Only 11.39 11 left in the period, and only one foul that they can give up. Here is Peter Rowe in the Tampa Bay defensive end, picked up by Randy at midfield. Left side to Arsena Goose. Goose gets inside of Maurer. They dump it in the corner for Hilton. Hilton, ball taken away by Maurer in a sliding play. Hilton gets it back. Shot blocked by Condrich. Rebound controlled by Randy Pikasinski. Ahead to Celestin. Back to Randy. Trying to get inside Power. Power pushes him down. Here comes the foul on Power. Two minutes. Coming up on Dave Power. They almost had to call that two minutes. The Invaders will go on the power play. For the first time tonight, the time of the penalty is 3.43 of the second period. <laughs> Two-minute foul on uh, Powers. It's either going to be a push or boarding. Canton on the year, 46% of their power plays have been successful, 11 of 24. Tampa Bay's power penalty killing unit has been outstanding. 78%. They've given up just five goals in 23 attempts. It's a boarding penalty on Powers, and the Invader man advantage team, Schlotthauer, Pisano, Tobin, Rudy Pikasinski, and Kia is into the game for the first time on the power play. Shorthanded unit, Walters, McEwen, Fall, and Rowe. Pisano with a shot wide. Rebound tipped away by Walters, and Walters and Kia fight for it along the boards. Now Walters to midfield. Pisano backs away as Schlotthauer comes to pick up. Now it's Kia over to pick Walters up, and Walters dribbling the ball Steve Frick style. Ball knocked free, but ball clears back in the Tampa Bay defensive end to Peter Rowe, and Rowe ahead to Walters. Tampa Bay scored a shorthanded goal Wednesday night, and they've held the ball for some time here. <laughs> they dump it down in the corner, and Kia will clear it in. the floor. We have about a minute 32 left in the penalty. Here is Pisano. Pisano, red line left side, couple of steps in. Feeds down against the boards to Schlotthauer. Walter back out front to Oscar. Pisano on the right point to Tobin. Tobin back to Pisano. And now it's Schlotthauer left side. Back to Oscar at the red line. One minute left in the penalty. Centering ball, Rudy. He shoots. It's blocked by McEwen. Comes back to Tobin. 
Down in the corner for Kia to Rudy, but knocked away and out of play by Mike Fall. That'll be a corner kick for the Invaders. With 10.09 to play in the first half. And 52 seconds left in the penalty. <laughs> Kia will be the trigger man from the right corner. Kia waits for the referee to put the ball in play. Now we're ready. Kia, red line to Don Tobin. Tobin, left side to Schlotthauer and back to Toby. On the right side to Pisano and back to Tobin. 40 seconds in the penalty. Pisano on the point, right side, middle of the floor to Tobin. Toby, couple of steps in, left side feed to Schlotthauer. He tries to move around a row and now back to Pisano. Tobin with a shot that hit Walters. Pisano after the rebound. Fall took it away from him. Fall on the attack up the left side of the floor. Oscar able to get inside and Fall has to reverse his field. Dump it back to midfield. Picked away by Rudy. Taken by Schlotthauer. Here come the invaders. Four on three. Schlotthauer fires wide to the right side. And the rebound bounces over the glass and out of play. Tampa Bay will have a kick in with only nine seconds left in the invader power play. Rowdy's aware that they should be able to kill the time. They'll put a couple of subs in now and remove the special team. Dodge and Hilton come in, and so is Mangion. Same five guys stay out there for Canton. If they get a quick steal, they'd have a chance here. Of course, there's always a few seconds after the penalty expires when if you have the ball in there end, you still have the advantage if you're controlling the ball before their man in the box is able to get back. Rowe will kick this ahead to midfield. Mangione and Pisano fight for it, and Pikasinski with a steal. Rowe took it back, dumps it down in the Canton, and two seconds in the penalty. Wall pass, no, and it's knocked up in the air by Mangione. The penalty's over. Here comes Pisano on the attack up the left side of the floor. Pisano's got Kia clearing to his right. Kia with a shot, and the ball knocked away from Pikasinski by Power. Power clears to midfield. Nobody there. It'll roll all the way back in the Canton end where Namofsky waits for it. Nine minutes left in the first half. Game is tied 1-1. It's been a scoreless second quarter. Sachs has the goal for Tampa Bay. Maurer has the goal for Canton. Namofsky with the ball in the arc. Billy will come out to the red line. Tampa Bay's defense is backed up all the way to their own red line. Namofsky wants Randy Pikasinski. Heads it up in the air for brother Rudy, but it's over the back of the net and out of play. Goal kick for Tampa Bay. Next home game one week from tonight. Fort Wayne comes to town. It's an 8.05 kickoff. And our contest quarters tonight, the third and fourth periods. So if you've sent your cards in, keep listening. 8.38 to play in the first half as Mauser will put the ball in play from in front of the Tampa Bay goal. He taps it ahead to Power, back to Mauser. And Mauser picks it up as Randy backs away on D, ahead to Solomon Hilton. Hilton lost the ball, it's loose at midfield. And Schlotthauer able to clear it ahead to Magic for Rudy on the break. Rudy had the ball bounce away from him for a second, that allowed Power to clear. Hilton's back at the other end, working against Schlotthauer, but Walter got inside and able to tap the ball into Bill Namofsky. Namofsky, outlet straight ahead to Mike Paxos. Paxos across the red line. Backs it away from Hilton, clears it over in the right side at the Canton red line to Schlotthauer. Walter, middle of the floor, about five, six feet inside the red line. Now comes up the left side. Mike Fall to pick him up there at midfield. Ahead for Paxos. Paxi drops it back to Schlotthauer again. Forward for Randy Pikasinski. And back to Paxos. Now Schlotthauer, now Paxos. Paxos launches it for Rudy. Rudy trying to get inside a goose and looking for a wall pass. And he feeds to Randy. Randy shoots and hit the corner of the post. Paxos with a follow, but it's knocked away by McEwen. And Fall able to dump it over against the boards. And Solomon Hilton controls at the Tampa Bay red line. Hilton comes out to midfield, picked up by Magic Celestin. Ahead to Fall. Fall tripped over the ball as Schlotthauer had it pinned. And here comes Kramer up the left side of the floor for Kent. Kramer, he, oh, he fires it up into the stage, and it's a goal kick for Tampa Bay with 7.18 remaining, and we have a timeout on the field. While we do, we'll take this break. The score, Canton 1, Tampa Bay 1.
Snaps it over on the right side to Rowe. And Rowe will come forward with it, picked up by Kramer. Ahead to Sachs, it clears past him into the, temp, into the Canton defensive end. Condrich waits for it there and leaves it for Pisano. On the right side to Don Tobin. Tobin across the red line. Ahead to Maurer. Maurer had it taken away by Rowe. Rowe up the left side for Tampa Bay. Clears across the red line, passes behind Walters, and that allowed Condrich to take the ball away. Tomo ahead to Maurer. Maurer, midfield circle, now on the right side of the Tampa Bay red line to Art Kramer. Kramer, a couple of steps in, he shoots, and Mauser goes down to his right to pull that save in. Outlet short on the left side, right side to David Dodge. Forward at the red line for Walters. Walters had the ball knocked away. He grabs a hold of Tobin, no call. Maurer shoots and scores! combination is the first goal. Maurer from Tobin. The Invaders lead 2-1 to one with 6.31 to play in the period. That'll make the time of that goal 8.29 of the second period. The first goal in the first period, Maurer from Tobin. This one is also Maurer from Tobin. Maurer now has seven goals on the season. Tobin has 11 assists. And the Invaders take the lead for the first time 2-1. to one. 31 to play in the first period. Canton 2, Tampa Bay 1. Don Tobin was getting held and was still able to get the feed off to Steve Maurer, and he cracked it into the back of the net. Timeout will be called, I believe, by Tampa Bay. Yes, they want to talk things over with 6.31 to play in the half. We'll take a quick break. The Invaders 2, the Rowdies 1. You can get Tampa Bay to control the kickoff on the restart. Rudy and Randy Pikasinski, Magic Celestin, Walt Schlothauer, Mike Paxos for the Invaders. Mike Fall, Solomon Hilton, Duncan McEwen, Dave Power, and Arsene Auguste for Tampa Bay. First lead of the night for the Invaders, and the crowd's starting to get into it now. Right side at midfield with it is Power. Power picked up by Rudy. I head to McEwen. McEwen around... Uh, one man, Hilton down in the corner, McEwen give and go, wall pass, headed up by Fall, just wide and knocked out of play by Paxos. And the Invaders will put it, or rather the Rowdies will put it in play in the Canton defensive end. Touchline left side, right where the curve of the board starts. 6.21 to play in the first half, the Invaders lead 2-1. Mike Fall, the trigger man for Tampa Bay. And he leaves it, Auguste will fire it out front, power with a shot, oh what a play by Paxos to kick that one out. A goose knocks it in. Celestin heads it back. Power sends it back in. Hilton and Paxos in a race, but it bounces over the glass and out of play. And the Invaders will control with 6.17 left in the half. Mike Paxos to touch it into play for Canton. In the goal area for Namofsky. Namofsky out through the arc with it. Right side at the or left side at the red line to Schlothauer. Back to Billy. And the Invader goalkeeper will come out across the red line. Namoski surveys the weave they run at the other end. Backs it up. Still no pressure on Billy. Long lead in the corner for Randy, but it was headed out of play by Tampa Bay. And the Invaders will kick it in. Just outside the Tampa Bay red line, left side of the floor. Canton leads 2-0 on a pair of goals by Steve Maurer. Or rather, 2-1. The one Tampa Bay goal scored by Nathan Sachs. Back edge of the midfield circle is Mike Paxos. Ahead it comes to Randy Pikasinski. Randy got his first goal as an invader Wednesday night in Tampa. McEwen heads it out. Celestin couldn't get to it. Mike Paxos does. Ahead to Randy. Randy to Rudy. Now Magic. He's open. He shoots. He scores! Magic Celestin. Collects his third goal of the year. They've all come against Tampa Bay. The Invaders lead 3-1. to one, The time of the goal, 9.26. That one he stuffed in the short side. I thought Mauser would have bet the farm that he was going to go to the other side of the net with it. And Magic just rammed it past him. Randy Pikasinski picks up his second point as an invader with the assist. And it's 3-1 Canton, 5.34 to play in the first half. Nick Mangione with a ball for Tampa Bay. Long lead, uh-oh. Condrich got away with one there. And they call it 
on a handball on Tampa Bay. Okay, Condrich and uh, Condrich and uh, Mangione collided. And, but Mangione got his hand on the ball first, so it's the third foul on Tampa Bay. Invaders have four, and they haven't committed one for almost six and a half minutes. Because they had those four with over 11 minutes to play in the period and have not been whistled for a foul since then. Demosky long lead, headed back by Mangione. Now Walters has it at midfield on Pisano. Walters tries to clear it ahead, but Oscar beats him to the ball. Demosky out of the net, sends it up into the crowd, and it's out of play. Tampa Bay. We'll put it back in play with five minutes exactly remaining in the first half. First half, Toledo leads Milwaukee one to nothing. Pride looking for what would be only their second win of the year. Sacks, wall pass, knocked loose. Mangione with a follow, taken down, still loose, blocked by Paxos. Paxos did an excellent job of protecting Namoski, who was down in the corner of the net. The invaders clear, and you're going to get two minutes on Mangione as he puts Steve Maurer into the boards. So the invaders will go on the power play. Time of the penalty, 10-10. The invaders failed on their first power play opportunity of the night. Mangione sits down. Second boarding call on Tampa Bay tonight. That one was more flagrant than the first one was. And the Invaders on the man advantage. And I don't know for the life of me what Dave Power is arguing about. If that identical call had gone against them, they would have, against Canton, they would have screamed if the officials did not call two minutes on it. Here we go. Don Tobin feeds left side to Schlotthauer. Schlotthauer. Dishes back to Tobin. Minute 46 in the penalty. Walter winds and fires. That's over the glass into the stage. Goal kick for Tampa Bay. 40-33 to play in the first half. And a minute 43 left in the penalty. Invaders lead 3-1, and they have the man advantage. Mauser will put the ball in play in the goal kick for Tampa Bay. Mauser. Launches it ahead for Fall, but it's knocked away by Schlotthauer. And McEwen has it ticked away by Rudy. Fall gets it back. Power will try to clear. And Walters has it at the Canton red line on the right side. Pisano and Tobin over to double team. Triple team. Kia knocked the ball away from behind. And Pisano trying to get around Power. And Power with good D. Tying Oscar up. And now he takes him down. And he will get the trip call. And that's the fourth foul on Tampa Bay. Now they want to bring it back and put it back in play from the right spot. 4.09 in the period. A minute 19 left in the penalty. Namofsky pushes it ahead for Don Tobin. Tobin, right side midfield to Pisano. Minute 12 in the penalty. Left side to Tobin. Tobin, couple of steps in. Back it comes to Pisano and back to Tobin. Tobin, right side to Oscar. One minute left in the penalty. Tobin, back to Pisano on the right side at the red line. It's a box defense for Tampa Bay. Randy out front, posted up, pushes it right side to Kia. And he touches it back to Oscar. Kia, ball knocked out of play by McEwen. Invaders will put it in play with 44 seconds left in the man advantage. It's their second power play of the night. They failed on the first one, but they still lead 3-1. to one. Tampa Bay has not had a power play yet this evening. Both teams have foul trouble right now. Four fouls apiece. Pisano, right point, across the floor, red line on the left side to Don Tobin. Toby to the middle of the floor, 40 seconds in the penalty. Pisano, around fall, left side to Tobin. Tobin faked his shot and clears back to Oscar. 31 seconds in the penalty. Tobin, couple of steps behind Rudy to Kia on the right side. Wall pass, Rudy had it knocked away by power. Schlotthauer gets the loose ball back out to Don Tobin. 20 seconds in the penalty. Tobin winds and fires. It's rejected by Walters. And Toby chases it back to the midfield circle. 14 seconds in the penalty. Pisano, right side feed to Kia. Kia to Rudy. It's loose out front. Knocked away. 
Seven seconds in the penalty. Keo on the right point to Pisano, and they'll back it up to midfield. Three, two, one. The penalty is over. Tampa Bay kills it off, but Schlotthauer fires. It's blocked by power. Pisano drops it back over to Tobin, and they'll clear it back in their own end to the goalkeeper, Bill Namoski. 2.41 to play in the period. Tampa Bay has killed off their second straight penalty. Schlotthauer working against Fall at the red line, drops it back in the arc to Namoski. Billy clears ahead to Walt Schlotthauer. Long lead behind Walters, behind McHugh and to Rudy. Tapped away, and Mauser controls in the goal area. Outlet on the right side, clearing up across the red line is Walters. Walters picked up by Celestin. Bad pass taken away by Schlotthauer. He was held by Mangione. The ref was looking right at it. No call. That would have been the fifth foul. 2-11 to play in the period. He had a handful of Walters' jersey. Schlotthauer, red line. Launches it long for Rudy off the glass, headed away by Power, and Hilton has it for Tampa Bay. Pushes it up on the right side for uh, Sachs. Sachs, long for Hilton, it's too long. It bounces off the boards and Namoski controls. Outlet to Rudy, to Randy. They go two on one. Rudy, he shoots. Good play by Mauser to punch that one away. Mauser just got a fingertip on that one to clear it out. A big pile up on the floor. Loose ball squirts out to the red line. Here comes Mangione with it for Tampa Bay. Minute 35 in the first half. Mangione pushes it ahead. Hilton has it at the Canton red line on the left side. Hilton inside of Paxos. It comes. Wall pass. No. Hilton follows and scores. Hilton will get the goal. Sacks the assist. And Tampa Bay has cut the lead to 3-2. To For Solomon Hilton, it is his fifth goal of the season, and he's been injured for a while. Just came off the disabled list Wednesday night. Sachs gets his first assist and his second point, both of them coming tonight. Time of the goal is 13.34 of the period, and Tampa Bay cuts the Invaders' lead down to 3-2. Sachs to has a goal and an assist. Hilton has a goal. Rowe has an assist for Tampa Bay. Maurer has two goals for Canton. Celeste in one. Tobin with a pair of assists. And Randy Pikasinski assisted on the other one. 3-2 Invaders lead. Steve Maurer off the foot of Kramer. Tobin launches it long. And it's over the glass into the stage. Over the head of Steve Maurer. And the Invaders will back up as Tampa Bay will have a goal kick with a minute 21 in the first half. Mauser taps it out on the right side to Rowe. Rowe, out in front of the arc, backs it away from Kramer, back in the box to Mauser. Minute 11 in the first half. Invaders by one, 3-2. Mauser, long lead midfield for Hilton. Off his heel, Hilton heads it forward for Jay White, who had a goal in the game Wednesday night, but he can't control, and Condridge comes the other way for Kent. 57 seconds in the period. They want Kramer, already got under the ball and put it in the stage. Another goal kick coming up for Tampa Bay with 55 ticks remaining on the first half scoreboard clock. Halftime guest tonight will be Magic Celestin. 3-2 Invaders. They have their 26-game home field winning streak on the line here. And they have never lost three in a row in the history of the team, so a lot of pride on the line for these guys tonight, and they want this one very badly. Arsene Agust in the Tampa Bay defensive end. Walking forward very slowly. Now drops it over to Mauser. Kramer a couple of steps in. Mauser picks the ball up. 45 seconds. Midfield, it's Fall. Fall lost the ball, got it back at the red line. Turns around working on Tobin. Trying to get it inside to White. White back for Fall. Cut away by Tobin. And the foul goes against Mike Fall. That's the fifth one on Tampa Bay obstruction call so if the invaders can draw one more foul in the later stages of this period they could get a power play here's Kramer Kramer trying to cut inside Hilton Hilton took the ball away and knocked away from behind by Kondrich Namoski scoops it up 21 seconds long lead for Maurer off the boards Maurer He's got Kramer clearing out front, but three Tampa Bay players between the two. Dumps it left side to Condridge. 11 seconds. Tomo winds and fires. Block rebound to Pisano. Seven seconds. Pisano wants Tobin to move. Four seconds. Toby through the box. Moore! Oh, it hit the crossbar. That's the end of the half. The Invaders go in with a 3-2 lead, and they just missed getting another one there. Maurer came very close to having a hat trick. Thank you. Next round, the silver bullet camp. Bruce is the one. Biggest tools is 
to push the plus line of the Kansas Bader. Paul Davis for charter service and escort is short at 4 by 4 9300 On the tracks of Bears for Austin Supplies, no one Weston. And they switch off a little now. The forwards, well, no. It'll be Randy and Rudy. Maurer started to come out and went back, and Rudy comes on. Rudy and Randy, Pekosinski, the forwards. Magic at midfield. Walt Schlotter, Schlotthauer is one defender, and Mike Paxos, who has played pretty well in the first half, at the other defender position. Midfielder for Tampa Bay is Duncan McEwen. Mike Fall and Solomon Hilton, the forwards. Arsene Auguste and Dave Power are the rowdy defenders. Tampa Bay, the visiting team, will control the kickoff to start the third period. They will attack from our left to our right, or toward the stage end of the Civic Center, if you're familiar with the building. McEwen, right side at midfield, had the ball tapped away on the boards by Magic Celestin. Magic, spin move to get around him, left him clean. It's a three-on-two break. Magic, he fires, it's wide, rebound off the chest of Auguste, and he puts it way up in the air, headed back by Solomon Hilton. It'll go all the way into the invader end, where Namaski waits for it there. Boy, they almost created a great opportunity right off the bat here in the third period. Left side at midfield is Schlotthauer, now in the circle to Celestin. Back to the net, Rudy posted up a few feet in front of the arc. Back outside the red line of the Magic Man, Celestin, couple of steps in on McEwen, looks right and taps it out back on the right side to Paxos, who one touches it over to Schlotthauer. In the corner, Auguste and Rudy in a race. It's loose out front. Randy got a foot on it, knocked it in the corner. And Randy, sliding play, knocked away by Hilton, but Schlotthauer controls at the red line for Kent. Now on the right side to Paxos. In the corner, right side for Rudy. Rudy against power. Ball scores free. Randy centers out front. Magic shot blocked by Auguste. And it's taken back by Schlotthauer. Schlotthauer for Randy. It hits off his foot, hits the top of the pane of glass, and goes out of play. Tampa Bay will put it back in. We have played a minute, six seconds of the second half. No scoring. The Invaders still lead 3-2. to two. Both teams will use the break to change lines. It'll be Maurer, Kramer, and Tobin up front for Canton. Pisano and Kondrich on defense. Walters, Mangione, and Sachs for Tampa Bay up front. Dodge and Rowe are the defenders. Rowe will be the man to put the ball in play in the Tampa Bay defensive end. To Mauser, back to Rowe. Kramer up to apply token pressure. Back to Mauser. Outlet left side. It is too far for Sachs and Pisano controls. And shovels it back in the goal area for Bill Namoski. Billy surveys the field and drops it almost like a football center between his legs over to Pisano. Oscar across the midfield circle. Dumps it down in the right corner for Maurer. Maurer back to the net against Dodge. Double teamed by Dodge and Walters, but Maurer pokes it out on the point to Pisano. Pisano fakes to the left and cuts it down to Maurer's again. Maurer tried to center and it was knocked away by Rowe. Condridge fires, and it's just tapped out of play by Mauser. Corner kick from the left side. Coming up for the Invaders. Condridge had a little mustard behind that one. 13-17 to play third quarter. Don Tobin will be the trigger man from the left corner for the Invaders. They lead 3-2. And we have to get the soccer ball back as soon as the youngster is able to chase it down under the bleachers in the far end. Quick hello to Diane Whitlatch, who's at home a little bit sick tonight. Dad's up here in the box and... Diane, we hope you're feeling better. A lot of guys on this team can empathize with you, I'll tell you that. A lot of illness on this club, but they're coming back. Don Tobin, corner kick from the left side. We're ready to go. Toby looks through. Maurer clears out front. He dishes to Kramer. He fires. Hit the post on the left side. Condrich out to Pisano. His shot is deflected under the right sideboards by Sachs. Kramer taps it underneath for Maurer. Maurer working against Dodge. Dodge goes down. Rowe the double team. Rowe comes away with the ball. And Maurer gets whistled for the trip. And oh, he's going to get two minutes. Time of the penalty, 157. It'll be the first power play opportunity for the Tampa Bay Rowdies as Maurer will get the two-minute tripping penalty. Tampa Bay on the year, 24% power play success rate, 6 of 25. The Invader penalty killers have given up eight goals in 23 attempts, 65% penalty killing. 
It's Randy Pikasinski, Steve Frick, Art Kramer, and Tom Kondrich. Randy taking Tim Tima's place on this unit tonight. Steve Frick seeing his first action of the game. The power play unit for Tampa Bay, McEwen, Rowe, Fall, Walters, and Hilton. Rowe, right side to McEwen. McEwen in the Canton defensive end. Shot blocked by Pikasinski. And Kramer controls the rebound. McEwen slaps it back up. And a bicycle kick by Walters. And then Mosky touches it over the glass and out of play. Good play in the invader net for Billy. Minute 43 left in the penalty. The corner kick from the left side as Paul will put it in play for the Rowdies. Paul out front. Rowe shot blocked by Kramer. You may have a break. Kramer's going to get to that ball before Mauser. It's two on the goalkeeper. Kramer, he feeds Frick. Frick, he shoots in. Rebound knocked away by Rowe. Kramer could not quite get to the pass. And here comes Walters the other way for Tampa Bay. Walters feeds across the left side to Mike Paul. Paul picked up by Randy in the corner. Paul touches it back outside. Kramer has it. Already coming the other way. Kramer with Frick. It's 2-1-2. Two two. And now McEwen gets back. Kramer around one. The shot put in. And Mauser comes up with a save. Minute 12 left in the penalty. Invaders have, have had two rushes at the opposite end and have not been able to convert. Tampa Bay with a man advantage for another minute and three seconds. Left side in the Canton defensive zone is Mike Paul. Now Rowe out front. Rowe pushes it on the right side for McEwen. Fakes the shot crossing and it's up in the air off the foot of Fall. Headed away by Condrich, headed up in the air by Frick. Rowe and Frick fight forward at midfield and Randy comes over to get position and they have to dump it all the way back in their own end of the keeper. 41 seconds left in the penalty. Mike Fall left side at midfield. Rudy Pikasinski is in on the shorthanded team now. Replacing Kramer. There's a shot and a kick save and a beauty by Namoski to dump that one out of play. With 31 seconds left in the penalty, 11.34 to play in the third quarter. Invaders 3, Tampa Bay 2. McEwen will trigger it in from the right corner for the Tampa Bay Rowdies. Outside to Rowe on the right side. Frick is up with him. Invaders in the diamond. On the right side, McEwen. Shot blocked by Randy. Headed back. Hilton had it knocked out of play by Rudy Pikasinski. And now there are 22 seconds left in the Tampa Bay power play. Again, it'll be a corner kick from the right side. Again, it'll be McEwen to put it in as soon as we get the ball back. And we can't find the other one, apparently, so we'll just get a new one from the middle of the floor. Whoever's got it down at that end, don't throw it back in now. <laughs> McEwen clears it out front, stolen by Frick. Here come the invaders again. Randy, Rudy's behind a couple of guys. He pushes it up for Randy. Randy blows by Walters on the right side. Looking for brother Rudy out front. And his wall pass right through the crease. Nobody could get it. Now Frick left side. Wall pass knocked away by Rowe. Frick got it back again. 18 seconds in the penalty. Invaders shorthanded attacking in the Tampa Bay end. And now they will take some time. And you're going to have a foul holding, I think, on Mike Fall. It is. And that's the first foul of the period with 11.01 to play in the period. Now, wait a minute. I think we got a clock problem again. If it's 11.01, the penalty should be over. And it is. The Invaders back at full strength. They kill it off. Frick. There were still 18 seconds left on the penalty clock, and the penalty was over. Midfield circle to Pisano. Pisano, right side to Maurer. Maurer trying to get inside McEwen. Gets it inside row. Tripped by row, and that's going to be the second foul on Tampa Bay. They haven't put the first one up on the scoreboard yet, but I'm, that should be two. 3-2 Invaders, 10.48 to play in the third period. Outside, Oscar Wines fires. It's in front of Frick to the left side, and Fricky will try to spin in on Hilton. And now double-teamed by Fall, but Fricky bounces it off the left sideboards back to Kondrich. Down in the right corner for Rudy Pikasinski. Rudy wanted Maurer inside. Loose Maurer. Oh, Mauser just did get a hold of that ball. Rowe able to screen Maurer away from it. Maurer and Mauser and... They put Moyer in yet. You try saying those three times fast. Long lead ball knocked away. Headed away by Oscar Pisano. Steve Maurer right side in the Tampa Bay defensive end. Maurer working on fall. Back out on the right point to Pisano. 
Oscar steps forward. He winds. He fires into the left corner. And nobody there for the rebound. A goose sends it ahead. It's behind. Taken away by Mauer. He shoots. And what a save by Mauser. It was behind Mike Ball. Hit him on the foot. And Mauer had an open shot. And Mauser just able to tap that over the net. Corner kick for Canton with 10.08 to play. In the third quarter, Mauer has come very close once at the end of the first half and just then to getting the hat trick tonight. Tobin, trigger man from the right side for the Invaders. League leader in assists with 11. He's had two of them tonight, both on goals by Steve Mauer. Invaders lead 3-2. Tobin with Kramer and Mauer in the box and Pisano and Kondrich back on D. And Mike Fall had gone over to the Tampa Bay bench for a second to talk to associate coach Wim Sabir. Now he's back and ready to go. Don Tobin will put it in play for the Invaders. Toby triggers it out. Pisano fires and just wide to the left side. Rebound comes out to Kramer. He fires and it's knocked out of play by Arsena Goose. And the Invaders will kick it in again in the Tampa Bay end. Touch line left side. Ten oh three to play in the third period. No scoring in the second half so far. Outside Pisano. He fires off the boards. Tobin looking for the follow. And Toby trying to heal it inside to Maurer was deflected. Toby gets it back outside to Maurer. And Maurer clears it out front to Pisano. Oscar's got to chase it back to midfield as the ball was a little bit away from him. And he drops it back in the invader defensive end to Bill Namofsky. Here comes Tomo Kondrich. Forward for Don Tobin. Third quarter, Toledo 5, Milwaukee 2. Art Kramer, centering ball for Maurer, knocked away by Celestin, and, or rather by Hilton. Here comes Fall. Fall had it knocked away by Pisano, got it back. Dumps it ahead. Mike Fall into the corner, working on Maurer. And Maurer just knocks it away from him and shovels it into Namoski. 9.20 in the period. Invaders lead by one, 3-2. Don Tobin, right side at the Canton red line. Toby pushes it forward for Maurer. Maurer up against the right side board. Spin move to get away from Hilton and Sachs, and it's back to midfield to Pisano. Airborne for Toby. Toby leaves it for Rudy. Rudy trying to get inside in the corner. Wall pass knocked away out front by Power. And Hilton has it and drops it over on the right side at the Tampa Bay red line to Mike Fall. Mike Fall clearing up the left side of the floor. Comes uh, Sachs and Sachs put it in cheap seats. Goal kick Canton with 8.52 to play in the period. And the clock at the far end is goofed up again. It's not a problem as long as these clocks are going, but where it becomes confusing is when the penalty clocks, which are the only on that end of the scoreboard, are malfunctioning. Goal kick Canton. Namofsky will put it in play. He has Walt Slothauer, Mike Paxos, Magic Celestin, Rudy and Randy Pekosinski. Dodge, Rowe, Walters, McEwen, and Mangione on the floor for Tampa Bay. Mike Paxos out to the Canton red line, right side. Sends it ahead for Magic in the midfield circle. And now back on the left side, near the Canton red line to Schlotthauer. Right side to Paxos, and back in the goal area to Namofsky. Billy comes out through the arc with it. 8.30 to play in the third period. No goal yet for our contestant, Bill Blackledge. Magic back to the net at the Tampa Bay red line. Back to Namofsky, Canton red line. Left side at midfield to Schlotthauer. Ahead for Pikasinski. It's Rudy back to the net against Dodge. Left side, double teamed, and he gets it out at midfield to Walt Schlotthauer. 8.12 in the period. Paxos right side, forward for Rudy. Rudy trying to work on Dodge. He backs it up to Paxos again. And Paxi has it, <coughs> excuse me, taken away by McEwen. McEwen, lead ball for Rowe is too far. Schlotthauer controls for the Invaders and dumps it back in the goal area to Namofsky. 7.53 third quarter, Schlotthauer for Rudy. Rudy tried to tap it in the corner. Nobody home except Rowe. Rudy out after it, but they get it ahead to Walters. Walters to McEwen, back to Walters. Off the sideboard, Schlotthauer got defensive position. Walter trying to knock the ball away. Whistle, and the foul is going to go against Tampa Bay. Schlotthauer pushes it ahead on the break. It's Rudy trying to get around Dodge. He wants it back to Celestin. Celestin, red line, couple of steps forward around one man. Got away from McEwen to Randy. Randy to Rudy on the give and go. Knocked back by uh, Dodge and taken by Celestin. His shot blocked and cleared out, and coming up with it is Mangione for Tampa Bay. Mangione up the right side of the floor. Condrich beats him to the ball. Mangione took a dive and got the obstruction call. That's the first foul on the Invaders in the period, though. So not as bad as it could have been. 
7.15 left in the third quarter. Still no scoring. And we need a goal for Bill Blackledge. Three fouls on Tampa Bay we have. The scoreboard says two, but I think we were right. We'll see if we get a chance to find out. They dump it back in their own end to Mauser because they want the line change, and Sachs has it at the Tampa Bay red line. Rudy out on him. Sachs moves to the left side and quickly dumps it back to Mauser. Rudy to apply pressure on him. Outlet through Auguste. Auguste picked up by Tobin. Invaders with some high pressure. D, fall right side at the red line. He's become the fan favorite here, as you can hear. He gets booed every time he touches the ball. Ball shovels it ahead for Hilton, but Namoski stepped in front of the pass and grabbed it and held on. Tobin touches it back in the goal area to Bill Namoski. 6.44 in the period. We need a goal for Bill Blackledge and Canal Fulton. Left side for Kondrich. Tomo forward for Artie Kramer. Kramer trying to get inside a goose. Spins back in the corner. Artie back to the net. Out on the left point to Kondrich. Tomo a couple of steps in. He fires. It's blocked by Hilton, and it goes over the glass and out of play. And there's an official timeout on the field. 6.26 to play. In the third period, the Canton Invaders 3, the Tampa Bay Rowdies 2. Make the Canton Symphony's performance of Handel's Messiah. Invaders will have a kick-in touchline right side in the Tampa Bay defensive zone. Mike Paxos will put it in play. Or maybe Magic. They're both standing by the ball. Mike touches it over to Magic. Magic being hounded by Mike Fall. And they'll drop it back at midfield to Paxos. And a bad pass taken away by McEwen. Tampa Bay attacks three on two. McEwen left side. Sliding play by Paxos to knock it away. McEwen chases it back in the corner, but the Invaders are back on D by this time. Look for a pass, knocked away by Paxos. Cleared out to the red line, power controls there. Launches it in for McEwen, shot blocked by Schlotthauer. And McEwen clears again, Magic got a foot on that. Hilton couldn't control, here comes Randy the other way. Randy and Rudy break two on two. Randy with the ball, he fires, no, Randy just missed the rebound. It came out a little bit behind him. Hilton on the dead run the other way, but Randy outruns him and cuts right in front, forces him to back up. Power with the ball at midfield. Now at the edge of the center circle to Mike Falk. And deflected by Pikasinski, Randy. And taken by Mike Paxos. Now here's the magic man through the midfield circle. Forward for Rudy. Rudy Pikasinski, left side against Auguste. And back at midfield, left side to Walt Slothauer. Thunderfoot moves to his right, clears it to Celestin. Celestin inside the Tampa Bay red line. Ahead for Rudy, posted up. Tried to back it up to Paxos. It was taken away by Mike Falk. Mike Falk being hounded by Rudy. And Randy with a sliding play to knock it loose. But it still ends up at the feet of a Tampa Bay player at midfield. That is Sachs. They clear it ahead for Mangione, but it's knocked away by Schlotthauer, taken back by Power. In the corner for Sachs. Centering ball. Oh, my heavens. Mangione whipped on the shot. Here's the break the other way to Rudy, trying to get inside a goose, and it was knocked over the glass and out of play. A goose was the guy who hit it out, and Canton will put it in play in the Tampa Bay end. Boy, oh, boy, did Mangione have a shot down there. Namaski had gone down after the original shot. And the net was wide open, and Mangione looks like he just basically tripped over the ball. 4.58 to play in the third quarter. It's 3-2 Invaders. It's been a scoreless period so far. We have 4.58 to try to win the prizes for Bill Blackledge. Don Tobin, the trigger man, on the corner kick from the right side for Canton. Mauer's in the box. Kramer outside to the left. And on the points, you've got Pisano and Condridge. Maurer clears through the box. Toby sends it across the field for Kramer. Artie wall pass comes behind Maurer. And Mangione tries to clear for Tampa Bay. Deflected by Kramer. Taken back by Maurer. And deflected by Mangione. Mangione and Kramer fight for it along the boards. They dump it out to midfield. It'll roll harmlessly into the invader end where Namoski pushes it ahead for Kondrich. 4.40 to play in the third quarter. Right side feed at midfield to Pisano. Oscar working against Jay White down in the corner for Maurer. Maurer to Tobin. Tobin had it knocked away from behind. Maurer and Dodge in a race. It goes in the goal area, but Dodge is going to get whistled for obstruction. And the Invaders will get the corner kick. That's the either the third or fourth foul on Tampa Bay, depending on whether our stats are right or the scoreboard is. Tobin will put it in play from the right corner. Toby looks to the point and now feeds to the point to Pisano. Through the box, it's in front of Condridge. Tomo runs up against the boards after it. And he fights with Jay White for it there. Gets away from White, taps it back to Pisano, edge of the midfield circle. Oscar trying to get to Tobin, clearing in behind Walters, but Walters got a foot on the ball. Ahead to White. Condrich with a deflection, but White still clears to Rowe. Rowe left side at midfield, pass blocked by Condrich. 
And it squirts over the invader bench and out of play. Tampa Bay will put it in play. Touchline left side at midfield with 4.09 to play in the third quarter. This is WHBC FM 94. And you're listening to Invader Soccer Action. Canton 3, Tampa Bay 2 in the third quarter. A couple of the fans saying we want Denzel for Denzel Antonio. The guys that are in on D have played awfully well, though. Denzel played well in Tampa, but the four guys that have been in tonight have, have not done anything wrong. McEwen out front of the box working on Pisano. Oscar, as it blocks the shot, it comes back out to Power. Power trying to get inside Kramer. Shot off the boards, blocked by Tobin. And Toby will come away with it for the Invaders. Toby clears ahead. Maurer trying to get around Auguste at midfield. He does. Auguste got a piece of him, but Maurer came through with the ball, so they whistled play on. That's a good call. And here comes Pisano. Left side feed to Tobin. 3.42 in the quarter. Tobin shot blocked by Fall. Ball lands right back at the feet of Toby. And now Condrich. Condrich. Right side of the box, it's Maurer trying to get inside of his man. It squirts through the box and nobody home there. And Paul's got the rebound. I don't know if the people remember that he used to play for Louisville or not, but he's getting booed every time he touched the ball, and he has a lot more hair than Keith Tozer. Hilton on the run with Condrich, and Condrich has good position and able to shield him away from the ball as it rolls around the boards to Namoski. Out on the right side to uh, Oscar, sliding play by McEwen to knock it away. Hilton back to McEwen, but it was knocked away from behind by Randy Pikasinski. Here comes Condrich, shot loose out front. Maurer turns, he fires just wide. Rebound follow, knocked away by McEwen. And Power and Randy Pikasinski fight for it in the corner. Condrich knocks it in the air away from Hilton. Randy heads it in the box, and Auguste has it bounce off his stomach and leaves it for the goalkeeper, Mauser. Left side feed to Mike Fall. Fall clears away from Toby. Toby clears to the invader bench in the line change. Ball ahead on the left side of the Invader red line to Walters. He chases it back to midfield. Walters to Sachs on the run in the corner for Walters. Condrich with him step for step. Walters turns, looking for a feed out front. Finds Dodge at the red line. Dodge winds, fires just wide. Rebound controlled by Condrich and corralled by Namoski. 2.24 to play in the third quarter. Outlet short on the right side to Mike Paxos. Paxos ahead right side at midfield to Schlotthauer. Walter on the run, trying to get around Sachs. Dumps it in the corner for Tobin. Tobin to Magic out front. Magic down the right side. Wall pass, no. Knocked away off the shoulder. Randy couldn't get the rebound as he was uh, had it knocked away by Walters. Knocked away by Randy, taken by Magic. Celestin to Rudy. He hit the post. Rebound loose out front. Knocked up in the air. Magic tried to head it. He and Mangione both missed it. Mangione has it taken away from behind by Magic. Magic steps forward, backs up. Ahead to an open slot. How Thunderfoot scores! up 4-2 at 13-16 of the third quarter. For Schlotthauer, his sixth goal of the year. And we just made a winner out of Bill Blackledge of Canal Fulton. You got the tickets, you got the dinner certificates. Magic Celestin picks up an assist. It's his second assist of the year, and the Invaders lead 4-2. And Bill Blackledge has two tickets to a future Invader game and the $20 certificate toward dinner for two at the Tavern in the Tower. He had already won the United Bank coffee mug. The fourth quarter will be another contest quarter brought to you by the Ohio Health Choice Plan. Invaders lead 4-2 to two on Schlotthauer's goal and the assist to Magic Celestin. Well, you could tell he had the open side of the net. You knew Walter was going to let that one go. And he got all of it. And when he gets all of it, there aren't many keepers unless it's hit right at the keeper that are going to get over in time to get to that because that has some speed on it. Mike Paxos clears it forward midfield. Knocked away from Rudy, but Paxos got it back. Up in the air by White. Celestin has it for the Invaders. Right through the legs of the ghost. You got a two-on-one. Rudy to Randall. The pass was blocked out of play by Power. Now it stays in. Inside the right boards. A minute 16 to play in the quarter. Don Tobin, red line on the right side. Back at midfield for Schlotthauer, who just scored the Invaders' fourth goal. Walter feeds right side to Tobin who leaves it for Oscar Pisano. Pisano, a couple of steps in. One minute to play in the quarter. Art Kramer moving inside on White. Down in the left corner. Artie spins and dumps it back out at midfield on the left side to Pisano. 51 seconds to play in the period. Pisano, left side to Kramer. Ball knocked away by White. And White clears up the right side of the floor for Tampa Bay. 43 seconds. 
White across the Canton red line. Left side feed to Fall. Fall picked up by Kondrich. Tries to get it across the power, but it's knocked away by Rudy Pekosinski. Auguste has to chase it back to the Tampa Bay red line in the goal area for Mauser. Mauser gets it ahead to Fall. Now Auguste, and he clears to midfield, and there's nobody there, and here comes Pisano. 24 seconds. Oscar through the middle. He feeds. Kramer's open. Hit the crossbar. Rebound comes out on the right side to Pisano. 18 seconds to play in the period. Oscar in the right corner for Tobin. Tobin back to Oscar. Now midfield circle to Kondrich. Nine seconds. <laughs> Excuse me. And Tobin sends it in with four seconds. Mauser catches it on the fly and he holds on. That'll be the end of the period. The Invaders got the only goal by Walt Schlotthauer at 13-16. That gives him a 4-2 lead. And we come back with another contest quarter in just a minute. Clubs that hasn't changed coaches already. And we're not even a quarter of the way through the season. Fort Wayne axed Cliff Brown. Replaced him with Tom Alioto. Toledo. Klaus DeBoer resigned, but we're told that was under pressure. And... Uh, Right now, Les Scarelli is coaching the team, although that may not be a permanent situation. And uh, Ginley was canned by uh, Memphis. Steve Maurer hammered from behind, no call. And coming the other way is Rowe for Tampa Bay. Ahead to Mangione. Mangione left side to Rowe. He's got the shot. He fires, and it was deflected just wide. Billy diving to his right. Wall pass. It's loose out front. Walters couldn't get the shot. Tried to center. It was behind Mangione. And Maurer comes the other way for the Invaders. We've played 25 seconds of the fourth quarter. Right side feed to Tobin at the Tampa Bay red line. Toby, a couple of steps in on Sachs. Moves inside to the right. Heels it in the corner, but there's nobody home for the invaders. And Mangione tries to clear, but he knocked it right to Maurer. Maurer trying to back it up and does. Find, finds Pisano on the right point. And in the midfield circle, it's Tomo Kondrich. 14-15 left in the game. Artie Kramer in the right corner working on Rowe. And Rowe knocked the ball away and sends it forward for Sachs. Sachs launches it long in the Invader defensive end. Namoski out of the box to scoop that up. Shovels it ahead to Kondrich. Kondrich gets Mangione to back away, and here comes Pisano out across the Canton red line. He played a minute five of the quarter. Right-sided midfield to Art Kramer. Invaders with a two-goal lead, 4-2. We're in the fourth period. 13-47 left in the game. Pisano drops it back in the arc in front of the goal box to Namoski. Tampa Bay will not pressure the goalkeeper yet, and Billy will be free to come out across the red line. Namoski looking upfield. Pisano saying, take our time. we got a two-goal lead. We can do this the way we want it. Left side at midfield to Kondrich. Now on the right side to Pisano. Pisano passes around McEwen, but it's taken away by Rowe. Rowe trying to get it forward. Good play by Kondrich, stretching and knocking away. Invaders attack four on three. Tobin had trouble getting the pass, but will chase it back at midfield. He knocks it around McEwen, and Pisano controls at the Invader red line. 13-10 left in the game. Pisano drops it back in front of the goal box to the goalkeeper, Nermovsky. Billy, left side to Kondrich. Kondrich moving left to right across the red line. We'll back it up to Nermovsky. Ahead to Celestin. Magic working against Rowe at midfield. Back to Nermovsky again. Nermovsky back closer to the goal this time. Knocks it out of the goal box for Pisano. McEwen clears by. Oscar, red line. Dumps it forward for Rudy. Rudy trying to get inside Dodge in the Tampa Bay defensive end. Pikasinski right corner. Wants to center. Magic with a shot. And Mauser just pinned it up against the post. Good save by Mauser. Bad play by Walters. And the ball's taken away by Mike Paxos. Walters got the ball two out in front of him. Randy Pikasinski left side. He feeds. Rudy scores! Rudy from Randy. The Pikasinski brothers knock up the fourth, fifth goal of the night. And the Invaders lead 5-2. Time of the goal is 2.34. And very quickly, we make a winner out of Andrea Welling. You've got this $10 lunch certificate at Tavern in the Tower, the two tickets to a future Invader home game, and a T-shirt from the Ohio Health Choice Plan. Rudy Pikasinski scores. Randy Pikasinski gets the assist. And the Invaders lead by three, 5-2. Rudy and Randy, the forwards. Magic at midfield. Schlotthauer and Paxos on defense for Canton. Hilton and Fall up front for uh, Tampa Bay with White at midfield and Auguste and Power, the defenders. Ball rolls around the boards. Namoski controls in the Canton goal area. Outlet short on the left side to Schlotthauer. 
12-15 in the game. Invaders lead by three. Randy Pikasinski at midfield. Tried to touch it back to Walter. Taken down, and there's going to be a foul on Walter as he collided with Hilton. The trip call or obstruction is the first foul against either team in the fourth period. Invaders lead 5-2. And after a couple of things that happened Wednesday night, if they get a chance to rack one up here, don't expect them to show them any mercy. PA announcer was saying most of the night that Canton was the best team the AISA had to offer until Tampa Bay came in the league. The Invaders didn't like that one little bit, especially in their weakened condition. Hilton got away with a push on Randy, clears the ball out front. Auguste dumps it down. It's loose in the box, and Namofsky pounces on it. And here comes Schlotthauer. Invaders attack three on two. Schlotthauer with Rudy and Randy. Moves between one, around two. Sliding play by White to knock it free. And a goose comes up with the ball for Tampa Bay. Ahead to Mike Falk. Mike Falk forward to the Canton red line. He winds, he fires, and a save by Namofsky. Rebound by Hilton, blocked by Paxos. And you're going to get a foul obstruction on Hilton, I believe. The Invaders will put it in play. The team fouls are even at one apiece with 11 and a half minutes left in the game. 5-2, Invaders lead. Maurer has scored twice. Celestin Schlotthauer and Rudy Pikasinski have each scored once. Tobin and Ru Randy Pikasinski each have two assists. Schlotthauer drops it back in the goal box for Namofsky. Billy out in front of the arc now. And a walk. Tampa Bay down by three. They still don't apply much pressure. Namofsky across the red line. Ahead to Kramer. Kramer left side at the Tampa Bay red line. Around one, around two. Hardy tried to push it ahead for Maurer, and it was knocked away by a goose. And Schlotthauer and Namashi converge on it in the Canton end. Schlotthauer lets Billy take it. The outlet in front of the box to Mike Paxos. And now it's Tobin. Now Kondrich ahead to Maurer. Maurer right side in the Tampa Bay defensive end against Auguste. Left point it comes to Pisano. Maurer out front. One of the hat trick. Lewis got it back to himself and he fires it right into the chest of Mauser who grabs it and holds on. Outlet right side to Walters. Here is a goose at the Canton red line. Lost the ball, and now Kramer hounds him, and Maurer back to double team. And he's got a world of hurt. Kramer blocked the pass, but it went over the glass and out of play. And that will give Tampa Bay a kick in. 10-27 to play in the game. Invaders lead by three, 5-2. 2,589. The crowd at the Civic Center tonight. We'd like to see more than that next week. Goal kick, Tampa Bay. 10.27 to play, and the Invaders hanging on to a three-goal margin. Mauser will put it in play for the round. He taps it over to Rowe, and Rowe will come forward with it. Midfield to Mangione, and he collides with Tobin. That one's going to go against Toby on the obstruction. Tampa Bay did not put the ball in play from the right side, though, so we'll do it again. Two fouls on the Invaders, one on the Rowdies in the period. 10.19 left in the game. Canton 5, Tampa Bay 2. You're WHBC FM. Walters back to the net out front, takes it in the corner. Maurer on him. Condrich with a deflection. Rowe controls on the point. Back to Walters in the corner. Walters had it deflected by Condrich and taken by Maurer. Maurer drops it, drops it back to Tomo. And Condrich will come out with it. Now dishes on the right side in the Canton defensive end of Pisano. Oscar moving right to left, stops on Sachs, drops it back to Namofsky. Sachs in hard, and Billy tried to clear, and he knocked it into the arms of Trevor Dawkins on the Invader bench. And Tampa Bay will put it in play. Touchline right, just inside the midfield stripe, with 9.50 left in the game. Rowe launches it into the right side. Pisano got a foot on it there, trying to maneuver around Sachs and Mangione. And Sachs with a deflection. Oscar goes down. The trip call goes against Tampa Bay. Team fouls even at two apiece. Pisano a little slow getting up. Invaders will put it in play in their own defensive end. Kondrich rolls it in the goal area to Namofsky. Billy scoops it up. Outlet for Maurer, left side at midfield. One touch back to Tobin. Tobin across the Tampa Bay red line. Toby down in the corner for Maurer. Maurer back out on the left point for Art Kramer. And middle of the floor to Kondrich. Tomo lets it go. It's blocked by Rowe. Ball's loose against the sideboards. Pisano heads it into Tobin. Tobin trying to clear back. He's double teamed. Mangione clears, but it's too far for Rowe. Kondrich will chase it down at midfield. Moves inside Rowe. Rowe takes him into the boards. 
And that'll be the third foul on Tampa Bay. Boy, and he came real close to signaling that the other way. Realize what it was, though. 9-10 to play in the game. Invaders lead by three. Kondrich ahead to Maurer. Maurer right side in the Tampa Bay defensive end. Ball deflected out to midfield by Rowe. Pisano backpedaling, waits for it there and drops it in the Invader goal area to Namoski. Billy scoops it up to get it away from Walters. Outlet on the left side, red line to Kondrich. Tomo on the run up the floor. Dumps it in the corner for Kramer. Kramer tried to center. Dodge blocked it. Hardy trying to get it back. Loose out front. Walters dumps it in the goal area. And Mauser saying, wait a minute, because Steve Maurer was about three feet away when that ball came in. Mauser just did get a hold of it. Walters left side in the Canton defensive end. And a bad pass knocked away. Loose out front. And Schlotthauer, or Randy Pikasinski clears ahead to Maurer. Maurer left side at midfield for Canton. Pushes it back to Tobin. <laughs> the Invaders want a line change. Pisano drops it back to Schlotthauer, who's in on defense along with Mike Paxos. And it's the two Pikasinskis and Celestin up front. They push it ahead to Rudy, po post it up, try to knock it around Hilton, but the pass was short and Rowe comes the other way. Rowdy's attack, bad pass, knocked away by Schlotthauer. Here come the invaders, four on three. Schlotthauer through the middle, feeds Randy. Randy wants Rudy, ball slapped away by Mauser, and a goose clears it ahead for Tampa Bay. It's uh, McEwen right side at midfield. McEwen picked up by Paxos, ahead to an open hill. No, and a play by Namovsky. Point blank save, wall pass, rebound, no. Ball outside. Feeds to McEwen. McEwen shot. Namovsky with another honey of a save. Now you got Pikasinski on powers. Here comes Randy and Rudy. Randy with Celestin. Leaves it in midfield for Magic. Sliding play by Fall. Didn't get the ball. Magic ahead to Randy. Randy wants Rudy. Ball blocked. Magic gets it back. And they back up and slow it up now. Magic right side Paxos. Paxos in the corner. Ball deflected by Power. And the Rowdies come the other way. Power clears to midfield to Solomon Hilton. 7-18 left in the game. Edge of the midfield circle is Mike Fall for Tampa Bay. Rowdies want the line change. Fall dumps it back in the bench. Sack steps off. Clears it in the corner for Walters. Walters back to the net. Centers out front for Fall. Fall, good defensive position by Paxos. Sack centering ball loose. Magic controls for the invaders. Celestin pushes it ahead for Rudy. Rudy midfield out of a double team. Drops it back to Celestin. Magic clears it forward for Kramer, who is breaking up the right side. <coughs> Excuse me. But Sachs got a piece of it. Rudy got a piece of Sachs, and the team files are even at three apiece. Six forty-five left in the game. Invaders looking to extend their home field winning streak to 27, counting the regular season and playoffs. Midfield with it is Sachs. Sachs pushes it to Rowe on the left point. Rowe trying to move inside Rudy out front. Ball is deflected up in the air. And Namoski punches it away from Walters out of play. And we'll have an official timeout with 6.32 to play in the game. And we'll keep it here for right now. Invaders 5, Tampa Bay 2. And the Rowdies have not scored in the second half. <laughs> Excuse me. Tampa Bay, I think, wanted a delay of game call there, but they didn't get it. 32 remaining in the game. Canton 5 and Tampa Bay 2. The Invaders do not look like a sick team tonight. Particularly the guys that I knew were really sick, Pisano and Kramer, appear to have recovered quite nicely. Corner kick for Tampa Bay from the left side in the Canton defensive zone. It'll be Walters putting it in play. Big white 13 on his green Tampa Bay uniform. And Walters taps it out to Sachs. His shot deflected, and it comes out to midfield. Kramer may have a break if he can get around Dodge. He's got Maurer clearing with him. Ball deflected, and you're going to get a push on who? On Canton. Okay. Fourth foul on the Invaders. They don't want to give a power play, and there's 6.20 left. Tobin with a steal at midfield. They scissor it. Toby dumps it over to Maurer. Maurer trying to get it away from Mangione. Does to Condrich. Ahead to Don Tobin. Tobin up the right side of the floor. Pushes it to an open Maurer. He shoots, and it's knocked up against the post by Mauser. And Tampa Bay clears it ahead to Walters at their own red line. Left side feed to David Dodge. 
Dodge slows it up. 5.57 left. Edge of the midfield circle to Rowe. Ahead to Mangione and back to Rowe. Rowe working against Kramer. Dumps it in. Bad pass knocked away by Condridge. Tobin touches it back to Pisano, who clears it ahead to Kramer. Kramer trying to get around to Goose. A Goose dumped it out of play. And the Invaders will put it in play. Touch line left. Uh, just outside the Tampa Bay red line. New line on the floor for Canton. Kia will take Randy Pikasinski's place along with Rudy and Magic. And it's Paxos and Schlotthauer up front on defense. Hilton, Paul, McEwen, August, and uh, Power on defense for Tampa Bay. <laughs> right side at midfield is Paxos. Down in the corner for Rudy. Rudy Pikasinski back to the net against Power. Gets it out to Paxi. Michael back out to the red line and now back at midfield and back to the Canton red line to Schlotthauer. Airborne for Rudy was headed away by Power and Hilton tries to control but Kia knocked it away from behind. It squirts in the goal area where Mauser holds on. 5.16 left in the game. A goose lost the ball. Rudy tried to pin it up against the boards. Hilton comes away with it for Tampa Bay. Ahead for Fall. Fall shot blocked by Schlotthauer. Ball comes back with it. Midfield to a goose. A goose ball knocked away from Hilton by the magic man, Celestin. And it's dumped in the goal area for Namofsky. Outlet short on the right side to Schlotthauer. 4.52 left in the game. Invaders by 3-5-2. Left side at the Canton red line to Pikasinski. <laughs> Rudy to Mike Paxos. Now Schlotthauer. And Walter sends it forward for Kia. Kia, red line right side in the Tampa Bay end against Power. Back to Paxos. Left side at midfield to Schlotthauer. Schlotthauer to Celestin. Magic Man will take some time to survey the situation. Now drops it back left side at the Invader red line to Schlotthauer. And back in the goal box to Namoski. Billy in the arc. 4.20 left in the game. Outlet red line left side to Schlotthauer. The Invaders want Tampa Bay to force the pressure here. They've got all the time in the world. They'd be more than content to pass this ball around for a while with a three-goal lead. Celestin the Canton defensive end. Now Namoski. Namoski confronted by Hilton. Outlet Schlotthauer taps it ahead to Rudy. Rudy backs it up to Walter. Airborne, Kia Cherry picking at the red line. You've got Rudy wide open, had to wait on the ball. Rudy wall pass, Kia it goes through the box. He couldn't get a hold of it. Magic for the rebound, trying to get inside. Pushed by Power, that's the fourth foul on Tampa Bay. He comes with 3.49 left to play, and the Invaders lead 5-2. to two. Canton will put it in play from the right side in the Tampa Bay defensive zone. Magic Celestin will be the point man for Canton. 3.49 left. The Invaders lead by three. Celestin between Paxos and Schlotthauer. Schlotthauer flags it down, takes it back to midfield, pushes it ahead to Kia, taps it back to Walter. Ball was deflected by Fall, but Paxos got it ahead to Celestin. Celestin inside the red line, takes it down in the corner, wall pass, Rudy with a rebound, no. Magic got it back out front, taken down by Walters, who tripped him, and that's the fifth foul on Tampa Bay, and Walters actually grabbed his ankle with his hand, I think, and took him down. I can't understand Walters arguing, he should be happy he didn't get two minutes. When you grab somebody with your hand and pull him down, out in front of, and especially right in front of the box. One more foul, though, on Tampa Bay would put the Invaders in the power play. And they have 3.31 left to go. Canton leads 5-2. Gerald Celestin to put it in play for the Invaders. Taps it left side. Schlotthauer winds, fires, blocked out front. Centering ball. And the pass went a little behind Rudy. And here comes Fall the other way. Fall stops, guts it out of a double team. Back to McEwen. And now it's Auguste out in front of the arc. Right side at midfield to Power. 3.14 to play. Power. I Celestin, long lead ball in the corner. And Schlotthauer able to knock it away. And Kia clears it out to Rudy Pikasinski. Rudy dishes back. Oh, bad pass taken away by Walters, but Namoski Johnny on the spot to make that save. Walters after the rebound, centering ball deflected by Schlotthauer. And Rudy taps it into Namoski. Long lead to Magic. Celestin working on Dodge, clears around, blows right by him. Once the wall pass loose, it's behind Kia. And Tampa Bay comes the other way. It's Mangione. Kia runs him down from behind and deflects the ball back to the red line. 2.38 left in the game. Left side at midfield is Rowe for Tampa Bay. Rowe moves in on Rudy, shoots and scores! 
So Tampa Bay gets to within two. Rowe picks up his fourth goal of the year, and three of them have come in the last two games against the Invaders. Time of the goal. Tampa Bay wants time. Time of the goal will be 12-29. Now that they've cut the margin to two, we would expect that Mauser will leave, and the Rowdies would probably go with a sixth attacker. Well, they have also not given one up while they were in the sixth attacker situation. But again, they've only done this once before, and that was for just a minute and a half. So Namowski trots back in front of the invader net. 2.31 left in the game. It'll be Kramer, Kia, Frick, Pisano, and Kondrich for Canton. And with McEwen in goal, you've got Fall, Hilton, Rowe, Sachs, and Walters up in front of him on the sixth attacker unit. Invaders control the kickoff. Frick and Kia drop it back to Tobin, or rather to Pisano, right side to Kramer. Kramer around run around two, ball deflected by Fall, and Sachs has it for Tampa Bay, drops it back to Rowe. 2.20 left in the game as Rowe crosses the Tampa Bay red line, now through midfield, picked up by Frick at the Canton red line, launches it in the corner. Pisano will control against the boards, and the Rowdies back up. They get it ahead. It's too far for Kramer. Rowe controls in the Tampa Bay end, and now it is McEwen with it. 2.04 left in the game. McEwen right side at midfield to Mike Fall. Fall picked up by Kia. Now it's McEwen in the midfield circle. 156 to play. Invaders lead by two, five, three. Rowe down in the corner for Sachs. Sachs centering ball. Hilton couldn't get a piece of it. And he knocks it up in the cheap seats after being knocked away a little by Kia and Kondrich. Goal kick will come for Canton with a minute 47 to play. And the Invaders leading by two, five, three. Tampa Bay needs to put pressure. They need two goals in a minute 47. To put, just to put it into overtime, Namoski clears it straight ahead to Pikasinski. Rudy midfield has it bounce off the heel of Sachs and taken by Fall. Right side to Hilton, and here comes McEwen through the midfield circle. Minute 36 left to play. McEwen picked up by Frick, feeds right side to Fall, and there's a steal by Steve Frick. Fricky coming up the floor. McEwen hustling to get back. Fricky will fire and hit the post. Kia scores on the rebound. Make it 6-3, to three, Canton. Kia from Frick. And chalk up win number seven. This one's history. Time of the goal, 13-35. His ninth goal of the year for Frick, his fifth assist, and the Invaders lead by 3-6-3. Three, three. Tampa Bay will leave him in as the sixth attacker, McEwen I'm talking about. Offensive player of the game, I think he deserves it, Randy Pikasinski. Played very well the last two games. Walt Schlotthauer, defensive player of the game. Roll with it. Canton red line, now McEwen. A minute 10 left in the game. And Rudy will get inside power for the ball. They clear it out to the red line. Rose got it back there for Hilton. Hilton tangles with Rudy. And they fire it in. And the trip call goes against Pikasinski. So the team fouls are even at five apiece with a minute one left in the game. Tampa Bay is still with a sixth attacker, but the Invaders lead it by three. Rowe feeds left side sack, shoots and scores! So Tampa Bay with 59 seconds left, cuts it back to two again. Sachs gets his second goal of the night. At 14.01 of the fourth quarter. And the lead is cut to 6-4. Nathan Sachs has three points in his first game as a Tampa Bay Rowdy. And Peter Rowe picks up his third point of the night on his second assist. He's also scored a goal. 6-4 Canton, 59 seconds left. So now the invaders have to be a little careful. Frick to Kia, drops it back. Kondrich launches it long in the left corner. Fricky over there, knocks it back to Rudy. Rudy in a fight for it with Power. Power dumps it around the boards. McEwen has it there. 48 seconds left in the game. Outlet comes to Power, knocked away by Pisano. Oscar has it taken back by Rowe. And 40 seconds left in the game as Rowe crosses through the midfield circle. Invaders by two. Tampa Bay with the sixth attacker. Right side, Power shoots, blocked by Pisano, taken by Kia. Kia clears it out across the red line. 
Bounces it off the left sideboards for Pikasinski. Rudy clears it ahead and bounces down in the Tampa Bay end where Sachs will flag it down. Just 21 seconds to play now. Sacks ahead for Rowe. Rowe and Pisano fight forward against the boards. Rowe comes away, knocked it right to Kia. Kia dishes back to Oscar. 12 seconds left in the game. The Invaders will win it. Pisano through midfield, stops. Ball knocked away by Rowe. Condridge clears off the boards for Frick. Five seconds in the game. Four, three, two, one. Kia will not waste the time with a shot. The Invaders win it six to four. They go to seven and three. Tampa Bay, well, we got a whistle and a six foul called. But, it, well, there's one second on the clock. Who cares? The Invaders will win it six to four. I think they called a sixth foul on... On, I believe it was on Tampa Bay. I think they got Rowe. Because he said number six. They want three seconds on the clock. So we'll call the penalty at 1457. Oh, no, they call it on the invaders. Or are they going to leave it with one second? Well, Canton gets the sixth foul called on them. Not Tampa Bay. It's not going to matter. They're only... I think they're going to make them put a couple more seconds up. Tampa Bay will just fire loose. It's blocked. The game's over. The Invaders go to 7-3. and three. The Rowdies fall to 7-4. and four. We'll be back to wrap it up in one minute. Kaczynski to put the Invaders up 3-1. Tampa Bay drew to within one at the half, 3-2, on Solomon Hilton's goal and uh, sacks the assist at 13-34. Then in the third period, 13-16, Walt Schlotthauer put the Invaders up 4-2, Magic Celestin the assist. At 2.34 of the fourth, Rudy Pikasinski, an assist to his brother Randy, put the Invaders up 5-2. Peter Rowe got a goal at 12:29 uh, of the fourth. Mangione the assist. It was 5-3. The Invaders went up 6-3 at 13:35 on Kia's goal. Steve Frick the assist. And at 14:01 in the game, Sachs got his second goal of the night. Rowe got his second assist. And the final margin was Canton six, Tampa Bay four. Our next broadcast a week from tonight, and that brings us to the end of another exciting night of Invaders soccer here on four, on uh, 94 FM WHBC. Be sure to join us again next Friday night, 7.55 kickoff time as the Invaders host the Fort Wayne Flames.
all of tonight's action brought to you by the Ohio Lottery, the Ohio Health Choice Plan, Pizza Palace, and United Bank. Bob Bishop reminding you to join us again a week from tonight.